flood risks with this whole system coming through. Andy? Yes, Jordan, even right now, even though radar may be a bit quiet, we are kind of expecting more rain chances as we get into the weekend, which that's why we have that weather impact alert out. So just a little quick background on what do we mean when we say weather impact alert. It's more so just kind of based on events that could either be severe events, abnormal events, or just kind of a concerning occurrence, which for our weather impact alert, we are going to have that flooding concern really because of the chance of just more like rain that's going to be able to come into the basin, which again, we don't need that much rain to really cause that much flooding here at all, which most of this activity is going to be happening more so after 2 p.m. and even into the later evening times, even maybe late into the night. So what's the weather impact? We're expecting chances of localized flooding throughout much of the area. And just little amounts of rain can cause that because it's just sand out there. There's not really a lot of land to be able to absorb amount this rain. So flooding can be a very common occurrence, especially with the chance to even hydroplane when you're out there driving. So that's why it's always good to know your flood zones, especially if you are out in the roads, just to know where to turn around and don't drown. So just kind of to go into, okay, worst case scenario, you are kind of at your house, there's a chance of flooding of water coming up. Always make sure you move to the highest floor, and if the highest floor becomes dangerous, get to that roof. Never get into your attic because your basement can be closed out. And one thing to do, do not travel if you do not need to. Back to you, Alex.